Hey, so I'm going to show you guys how to replace the hard drive in this 2760. Um, so you'll need a screwdriver and a laptop. So you got to flip it over onto its back. Um, I like to remove the battery just because it's safer. And just do that. So you're going to undo these three screws here. They loosen, but they don't come out. So when once you notice it's spinning freely, you can stop uh, turning. This foot here comes out, so be careful not to drop it. And just like that, the back comes off. This guy here is a hard drive. You may have a screw up here. In our case, we don't because we lost it. This screw here is the same concept. It loosens, but it doesn't come out. So you want to take this tab, pull it out and towards yourself like this, and then the drive just comes out. If you're swapping the hard drive itself, you'll have to take the new hard drive and put it inside this bracket. You've got four screws, two on each side. That's it, and the drive just comes out like that. Now, when you're putting the new drive in, uh, you want to make sure that uh, you uh, just sort of compare the two. If you're not sure uh, how, how it goes in, just make sure those two lines uh, and the SATA drive line up when you put the old the new one in. Uh, now, if you've taken the drive out and you, you don't know which way it's supposed to go, this manufacturer label is uh, supposed to usually faces outwards towards you so you can see it. Next step is to put the screws back in. That's done. So you take that drive and you just basically put it back in the way it was before. It'll fit nice and snug so it's not supposed to be loose or anything like that. And then you just tighten up that screw again. Put your back plate back on. Close that guy back up. and put your battery back in. That's it, I hope that was helpful, thanks.